Hello, and welcome once again to my basement for a second talk during this time of the COVID-19 virus. During this time of self-monitoring, I've taken the advice of walking for exercise, being careful to observe social distancing. During my walks, I'm slowly discovering the new neighbourhood in which Debbie and I now live. Each day, as the snow melts back a little, more is revealed. It's becoming clear there are paths where there were snowbanks, routes to travel which were not obvious just a week ago. As we enter spring, these will become more and more apparent. In making these journeys, I see a parallel with our current situation, trying to navigate our way through COVID-19. As we keep being told, we have not been this way before. But in a sense, we have. Perhaps not so far or within living memory. There was the SARS outbreak of 2003 and the Spanish flu, which began at the end of the First World War. It's easy to think that we will not come through this, but we will, because we have before. However, things will be different. In this time of change, we need to follow some of the new routes to see where they will go. They'll become obvious. But more importantly, in times of uncertainty, we need to know where to find constancy. In Matthew 28, 20, in fact, the final verse of that gospel, Jesus reminds his disciples that he is with us always until the end of the age. In Hebrews 13, 9, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our present circumstances will lead us into new pathways of understanding our faith. In general, we've been fairly self-reliant in our walk with Jesus. But now things are different. An unseen virus has knocked our normal confidence, both personally, nationally, and internationally. As with many of our brothers and sisters around the world, we face day-to-day -day uncertainty. Let us ask Jesus to help us to look to God as our rock in these times. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I hope to be back again tomorrow with another short talk.